If I say that I exist, what's that supposed to mean? What's the purpose of me saying that? Am I trying to prove my existence to someone else? Am I making a positive statement and throwing it out there for someone to challenge? Or is this something that I say only to myself? Is this simply a self-acknowledgement or whatever? Um, normally when a positive statement is made, the assumption of burden of proof is on the person who makes it. In this case, I don't know. I don't know if that's the case, and I don't know if there is any way by which we can prove our own existence. So, um, I think that if someone wants to challenge that, uh, in, from where I'm standing, the burden of proof is upon them. Um, it's not a question that I'm saying that, well, if you don't recognize the fact that I'm that I exist, you're wrong. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, you're going to have to convince me that I don't exist. Um, that there is no viewer, that there is no thing in here that's having all these experiences. There's, no, there's nothing on the receiving end of the qualia that take place all the time, the actual experiences. Um, and now, I don't honestly think that there are a lot of people out there that are interested in doing that either. But I do believe that there are people out there who seem to believe that consciousness or the I does not exist. That, I think, is something that I'm not even willing to challenge. Um, I see that someone will say that, but I do see the futility of challenging that statement. It's, it's futile to challenge me when I say I exist. It's equally futile for me to challenge someone else when they say that there is no I. Um, as I said, there, there may be no burden of proof here at all, simply because there's no way to prove such a thing. Because the I is, by nature, um, the I. You can't... Uh, there's no other bystander there to prove anything to. Now, I understand the implications of this, but I don't really see it as a soluble problem. But what I do tend to uh, take from that is uh, the futility of debating the entire subject. Um, and I don't think that there's anything that is more remote from the possibility of communication than existence itself because everything that we talk about has to do with some sort of experience um, some sort of comparison that takes place outside of the I, outside of the self our metaphors simply evaporate after a certain point once we go deep enough inside and I don't see how language or anything, any medium of communication whatsoever, is sufficient to deal with that issue. So I would just sort of not bother to debate such a thing. Um, not because I think that anyone who is challenging such a thing is dumb or whatever, or that it's a stupid argument. Uh, simply that there's no way to really engage anyone else in such a discussion. Um, language fails utterly at that point. Um, and I don't really see what is to be gained by pursuing it. I don't think that anyone has ever really come up with proof, or that one could come up with proof of existence itself. Um, all of our proofs, all of our uh, methods of communication, all of our methods of relaying information are designed for things that are completely alien to that sort of thing. Does that mean that um, I just have to take it for granted that I exist, or that someone else has to just take it for granted that I don't? No, I don't. I don't see it that way at all. What I do think is, it's we've. It's a, probably the best example I can come up with of the failure of, of language and the failure of dialectic and the, uh, the 
failure of our present tools to do uh, or to, to take the subject any further. Um, but that doesn't mean that no progress can be made in that dis in that kind of a discussion. Um, what I often think in a case like that is perhaps communication has simply failed to the point where the two sides are so far apart, or at least the two mediums of communication are so far apart that they're not communicating in any meaningful way at all, and I move on from there. Um, I don't see that as a logjam. It does look like one. It, it, it looks like one of these situations where you simply have to take sides. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Thank you.